But I first want to say it's, it's been so nice for us to be here. We've been having such a beautiful, beautiful stay. We've got a great spot on the lake, and, and we have we've got the fire going at night, and it just feels really, really um, special for us. It's been like a refuge in some way. And it's also really exciting to be here at the Sarah Hilton Museum. I mean, for Nick and I, this is a new world, our first entry, our first showing. And so um, it just feels right. It feels right to be out here. And um, it's really uh, pretty special for us. I don't, I, uh, uh, to me, it's still about self-reflection. Uh, it's about, um, you know, how, how, again, where was I, where, where have I gotten it wrong in my relationships? Where have I misstepped? Um, where am I complicit? And it's really, for me, it's, it, was, it was born out of ownership of, of, of really what I call a, a radical inventory of self, getting really brutally honest with me and where we're um, taking account of, of those I may have hurt or, and those I, you know, moments I've just gotten wrong. Yeah. Good? Okay, thanks. I wanted to do a devil because it was red and I like the color of red glaze. Eventually, I decided to make the life story of the devil itself, right? So <laughs> it starts off with a, with, it's the story of a man and it starts off with the, the devil is a tiny child, and it moves through the ages of the devil. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. As a young boy, uh, it, inheriting the world, uh, as a child, as a lover, with a sailor, he grows up, he does manly things and fights lions. He... Uh, and so on, it, it, it goes on, he goes to war, he returns from war a different person, he goes into town, he gets married, he kills a child. And this is the um, fracturing point of these things at this point here. Uh, the devil grows uh, separate from the world. Um, uh, Life goes on without him, and he uh, falls into a state of remorse. Eventually he dies, and he is um, found by the child here, uh, and forgiven. And it's... For me personally, it speaks into some, something about the idea of forgiveness or the need to be forgiven. It's a very personal work for me. Um, but I guess for me, in the end, everything I do and everything, all the songs that I write and all this sort of stuff are really um, asking for forgiveness in some kind of way. By some magic, the most kind of heroic men you can imagine, right? I mean, Nick Cave, fucking right? Became the most tender friend. So Brad made me candles. And I was very scared of the night. I was just very frightened of that. I had never realized that. But as I went into through recovery, I realized I'm terrified of the night. I don't like sleeping. So he made me these little candles, right? And, um, you know, he said, just light them up at night and I'm, I'm there with you, right? It was this incredibly tender, loving gesture, right? 